Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Anthony, your Big B Stats, and welcome back to some more Minecraft Story Mode Season 2, Episode 4, which was just absolutely amazing. A brilliant, brilliant episode. The story was just perfect. Uh, the gameplay was perfect, and also all the action scenes were just insane. So what you're going to be watching today is going to be the alternate paths that I took in my Let's Play. So if you did not see my Let's Play, I'll link that down below in the description, but there was a lot of choices, as always, in the story mode series, uh, where it's like, I wish I could go that way, but this way is the way I want to go. So now what I'm going to be doing is showing you the ways uh, that I did didn't go so there's things like you know at the trivia contest with Fred like what happens if I don't win that also what happens you know if I decide to leave radar you know underneath instead of above the bedrock like what if, what if I just go through the portal and leave radar uh, those are some of the things you will be seeing as well and also what happens when we bring Luna instead of Nerm and such things like that so sit back relax and enjoy also let me know which path did you take uh, down below in the comments? But thank you all so much for watching and enjoy. Do we have everyone? Everybody safe? Yeah, everyone except Nerm. <sighs> Can't believe you left him behind for some useless llama. She's not some useless llama. Looks pretty useless to me. Come on, Jack, give Luna a chance. She could be a big help if you let her. I'll believe it when I see it. Wow, you were right. There's a whole world down here. The first world. Created by us. Romeo, Fred, and me. What has he done to it? Hang on. I just need to see if it's still here. We have to keep moving. No telling what the admin is up to in Beacon Town. And they'll all think it's me. Oh, get out of here, you fucking carpet. Eh, eh, yourself. You, uh, you okay there, Jack? No, this dumb stack of wool won't leave me alone. Yeah. Disgusting spit everywhere. Not good for anything. No useful skills. Can't make maps. No sense of humor. A terrible conversationalist. I don't think the problem is with Luna, Jack. What? Don't you think this might be because you miss Nerm? I... Yeah, you're probably right. Sorry, Luna. Yeah. We'll get Nerm back, Jack. I don't know how yet, but we're not gonna forget him. Yeah, I... Uh, I appreciate that, Jesse. Years without sleep! Years! <laughs> Only rest is at home. Won't rest until I get there, I said. Zara? Look at this. My bed. Come on. She's freaking out about a bed? Really? Could she be any more melodramatic? Wow. Maybe we should help her. Be my guest. I'm staying as far away from her throwing arm as possible. Ditto! I just wanted to sleep. I thought if I could find this one thing, one last thing still whole, there's no hope for this place. I'll never get it back now. You made sure. I know you're upset, but you can sleep once we've defeated the admin. That has to come first. So simple for you. Has not dried out. Stuck open. Gross! Really? Yeah, depends. 
We've been scavenging these lands since the darkness fell. You know what? We can sniff out an outsider when we sniff one. So what are you doing all the way down here, small fry? You lost? We're just passing through, really, that's all. Huh. Don't look like you're doing too much passing through at the moment. Seems to me you're stuck. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Good one. Maybe we help you, maybe we just walk away. Leave you here to die. <laughs> The first one. Pick the first one. I don't know. Seems like a lot of work. Getting down there. Pulling you up. Help us and we may surprise you? When's the last time you met someone new down here? Not a fan of surprises. Especially since the last one. Things do get pretty boring down here, though. Yeah. <laughs> Down here, we don't do anything for free. Can't really blame us, what with the giant monsters and nothing growing. So, how about we take your inventory for a spin? Permanently! We're really interested in any weaponry you may have. <sighs> a warrior without their sword in a place like this is dead meat! Your friend doesn't look like he's gonna last much longer. What'll it be? Don't do it, Jesse. We can find another way. Your swords or splat? Flatter than a lily pad at the bottom of this canyon. <laughs> Splat. Whoosh. Here. And one more makes two. Fine. But pull me up first. Nasty fall. Thank you. Those are fine blades. Oh, now I'm being rude. The name's Porkchop. And this here's my crew. The toughest scavengers you'll ever have the pleasure of meeting. Hiya. Sup. Best be careful as you get on your way. You're looking a little squishy. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, watch out. <laughs> Never know when a cliff will just... Jump out at ya! <laughs> so, uh, are we friends now? Like we're gonna be hanging out for a while? Oh no! We've got a plan in mind, and it doesn't involve covering the behinds of a couple stragglers! Just look out for you and yours, okay? Be seeing ya, toodles! <laughs> oh. One last piece of advice? Keep your eyes peeled. You're not alone down here! Yeah, luck, squiggies! Great, let's go. Jesse! Jack, are you okay? I've been better. What are you doing? Where's your sword? Um... Uh, come on. Sadly, no. That is not correct. Good name, though. Sadly, our new competitor has not managed to answer enough questions correctly to beat our reigning champion. For the 15th competition in a row, Kent has won. As is proper. Kent wins again. What do we do now? I have an idea. Oh, Fred. Let's go. <laughs> oh, even his snore makes him sound like a know-it-all. You go ahead. I'll keep watch. Find that weapon. 
I'm Fred's real number one fan. Yeah, he's out. Hey, Kent, why did the mushroom make such a good roommate? Because it's a real fun guy. You know, Kent, this whole adventure has been really hard. It's put a strain on my friendships, almost gotten people killed. Now I'm in this crazy underworld, and, well, it's hard not to give up hope sometimes. But I still gotta believe it's gonna be okay. I mean, you gotta, right? Fred! Good talk, Kent. He's like a little angel, an annoying little angel. Nothing else in here. Maybe the others found something. People. This is the only way I know how. I know how important this was to you, but we have rules in place for a reason. <sighs> Maybe my people were right about you. They say you're dangerous. There are rumors that you're from above the bedrock. Your friend Jack spoke of all these lands we've never heard of. I'm beginning to think they're true, and if they are, that can only mean trouble. You've already caused quite a bit of it. And you just arrived. I'm sorry, Pinta. I really am. I didn't want to cause you any trouble. <sighs> Thank you. Did you at least find what you were looking for? This weapon? Go on. Tell me. Not the weapon exactly, but some promising clues. Romeo, Zara, and Fred had a cabin that they called home. We need to find it. Romeo? Did they say Romeo? The admin? Yes, the admin. Right now he's in our town, pretending to be me. We need to stop him. Problem is, we don't know where the cabin is. Just stop talking. You understand I have no reason to help you after what you've done. But if you really are from up there, there's something I would take in exchange. Get me and my people above the bedrock. You must know a way. Above? Binta, what are you saying? We don't know what's out there. It has to be better than this. You and your people are welcome to join us. Good. Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. Let me worry about that. The mycelium on this island has kept the monsters from spawning, and we've been safe here so far. But it won't last. Our only chance for a real future is up there. Zara's repairing the portal that will take us up. If you want to go through, meet us at the Oasis. Fred left this to me before he... <laughs> the needle points home. When he didn't come back, I tried to follow it, but got stopped at the gates to Romeoburg. They have a massive army, but I'm sure with your techniques, you'll be just fine. Keep it safe. Treat it with more care than you did Fred's house. You really didn't have to do this, so thank you. I'm not doing it for you. You're our best chance of getting out of this place. I expect you to hold up your end. I'll prepare my people. You take these. Signal us when you're ready, and we'll be there. Great, you're here. We've got a new destination, so... You go on ahead. I, um... I'm gonna stay here and see what I can do to help. What? No, Jack, we have to stick together. Not this time. We're the best chance they've got to get out. Us and that portal Zara's fixing. I can do some good here. Help Binta convince them. 
Jack, you can't stay. We need you with us. Right. We're in this together, aren't we? You don't need me. These people do. Friends don't leave friends behind. It won't be for long. Once you get the weapon, we'll get out of here. Just like we planned. You're not even gonna let us try to change your mind, are you? No. Petra, I... Whatever. We'll see you at the Oasis. When you set off that firework Binta gave you, I'll come running. And hopefully I'll have a few new friends with me. Ha! <laughs> That's so funny when someone else does it, huh? <laughs> Come here. Think you could just walk off with a pocket of the finest sticks in the land, huh? Not today! What? They're a little touchy about their inventory. Man, the track is a complete wreck. Yeah! What's up with... Big mistake, masked man. Ah, come on, seriously, who are you? I am a shadow, sent to eliminate all imposter Jessies. But, but I am Jesse. Oh, really? Then prove it. Tell me something that only Jesse would know. So uncomfortable that I leave, it isn't working. Nope. Sorry, I'm not convinced. Sword time. Say your goodbyes, imposter. Ha! Huh. I recognize that strangely terrifying stare anywhere. You are the real Jesse. It can't be. Ivor? <clears throat> yes, it is I, your friend Ivor. I'm gonna need you now, Jesse! What? Yeah, what? It all started when I fell through a portal into some sort of strange world. Everything was all white. Master Shadow's domain. He claimed he was a ninja master, a practitioner of the shadow arts. At first, I wanted nothing to do with him. He was a very suspicious character, but eventually, after a lot of uncomfortable eye contact, he asked me, me, to be his pupil. I was... Nice. Huh, you see? Ninja reflexes. Wait, you tried to hit me. Why'd you try to hit me? That would have been quite painful. Wow. Master Shadow teach you how to whine, too? No. And rude. <laughs> it's good to see you, Ivor. I... Yes. Yes, it's good to see you, too. Though I'm not sure I like this new look of yours. Says the guy dressed as an actual ninja. But seriously, what are you doing down here? Let me explain. You see, it all started when Harper and I returned from our vacation. We discovered that while we were gone, you had mysteriously vanished after fighting a prismarine giant named the Admin. Right. Only to return, having defeated this admin and taken his amazing powers. Wait, what? Yeah, that's not right. 
It's working on most of Beacon Town so far because it's a lie! That's also still partially based on the truth. <sighs> Big emphasis on partially. Jesse, a.k.a. the admin, gave me this and told me he had reprogrammed it to find the fraud, a.k.a. you. But with my new ninja senses, <clears throat> I could tell something wasn't right! Anyone who disagrees, anyone who questions Jesse, disappears. Oh, they must hate me. It's certainly not helping your reputation. No, but I knew that Jesse, the real Jesse, would never act like that. That's why I decided to try and use this opportunity to discover the truth. Luckily, it worked out because I would have felt terrible about killing you. Whoa, weird llama. What are they doing? Negotiating terms. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, you've got a pet llama too. independent llama. You don't need to define your life with a pet owner relationship. This place is amazing. We went to Romeo with the best of intentions and was... was... Ugh. There is no redemption in Romeo. None. He needs to be stopped once and for all. He deserves it. Worse for this and everything else. It's the only way. No argument? Huh, I wouldn't have thought you'd agree. But heroes are supposed to help people, not hurt them. Romeo deserves what's coming to him. Fred should be avenged. Fred was the best of us, cut down. I can't let it stand. Romeo did awful things. We'll make sure he pays for them. Glad to hear it. I'm not. Romeo destroyed my world, and I wasn't there to help it. He's stolen it from me. There is no rebuilding. I have nothing now. It's really over. All the things we made. I'm so sorry, Zara. I know what it feels like to lose. You really don't. But you might soon if we don't end this. <sighs> All right. Let's get this over with. Hand over that trinket of yours. Uh, Jesse? Not exactly sure where this will bring us, but hopefully it'll be close to home.
Demon is after me. I can buy you time. You're our friend, Radar. We're not leaving you down here. We have to stick together. This is my time, Jesse. I know it. I have to do this. Go for it, Radar. I'll see you topside. Come and get some of this! Oh, yeah, that's right! I'm talking about these huge arms! He has this, and he's giving us an opening. Everyone now, Kent, come on! You could ask more nicely. But where? Anywhere has got to be better than here. portals ever I'm with the llama <laughs> is everyone all right it's the old orders temple we did it we're back <laughs> radar would be flipping out if he were here right now Standing where the great hero stood. This is amazing. Spot on impression. I mean, come on. You know he'd be all over historical Order of the Stone sites. He'd probably not want to touch anything. Too scared. <laughs> it was weeks before he'd touch the Order Hall front door without wearing gloves. Radar deserves to stand here, too. He's just as much a hero as the rest of us. He gave Binta's people the chance to escape and help us stop the admin. Jesse, we are endlessly grateful to your friend for what he did for us. Well, we'd thank him if we could. We didn't know if we'd ever see the sky again. Did you see that? Okay, somebody tell me I'm losing it. 